The next report we're going to look at is the balance sheet. The last one was a profit and loss accrual account. The balance sheet comes before that. And we have here a standard balance sheet. We'll use that one for today. If I click on customize, it tells me my selected period. Because it's an as at report, I can go for a selected period. If I wanted one halfway through the month, I could change the date and it would do it. On the right hand side here, it asks me about report level. The report I would normally look at when I'm looking for what has happened, where am I at now, is a fairly detailed report. I need the level four report. If I go to a level three report, it may leave out some of the accounts. It will just consolidate them up. A level two report will consolidate even further. And a level one report will simply give me a list of assets, liabilities, and equity. Three figures. There are very few people who can live with a three-figure report, but I can think of one occasion when it might be useful. Level four will click display. I have in here my balance sheet as at March 2013. It tells me that I have a check account, there's $37,000 in it, and there's $5,500 waiting to go out of my electronic clearing account. That will be fed by my check account. My actual cash available to me is $31,900. My trade debtors, $14,000. They should be payable within the next month. So between now and the end of April, I should have $45,000 in the bank, less what I've paid out. My employee advances, well, they'll be reduced as I pay the employees. My inventory, $9,199.99. That needs to be worked on, maybe, that will actually become cash in maybe by the time I've sold it to a debtor and he has paid me maybe two months away, maybe three months away. What I'm doing there is looking at how liquid am I. 31000 in the bank, 14000 next month, 9000 a month after that. I better do some work. I might need to order some inventory, get some sales going, turn it into cash. My reimbursables of $75, just a figure. Something that I've paid out that may be owed to me or somebody has paid me and I'll get the bill shortly. In the fixed assets, I have furniture and fittings and I have computer equipment of $909. A total amount of fixed assets of $1,349. They're not going to be turned into cash anytime in the near future. They're the things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis and they will get written off over the years as I decide by depreciating those assets. In the advanced course, we'll talk more about depreciation and how it affects a balance sheet and a profit and loss account and a cash flow forecast. My total assets, $57,564. I also have some liabilities. I can see there that I owe my creditors $9,350. It's also telling me that I've collected $993 GST as part of my debtors. In actual fact, it's about 10% of my debtors. I know that figure is probably about right. The GST paid, monies I've paid out, which I'm going to reclaim from the government, $1,500 shows that the government owes me $560.94. The government will round it down, so we'll call it $561. That's a very good reason for me to lodge my GST return quickly, I think. I also have some PAYG to pay, $281. That will actually come off the $560 that the ATO owes me. I also need to pay the superannuation for my employees and some while down the track in about nine months time that ten dollars in the Christmas fund I'll have to pay that out to the employees so that they've got enough to buy themselves some good time over Christmas. My total payroll liabilities $574. 
My total current liability is $9,300. If I look back further up, my total current liabilities are 9300 My total current assets are $47,000-odd. Those total current assets are far more than my liabilities. I am not too worried. If my current liabilities were more than my current assets, I think I would be worried. It would be showing me that I'm insolvent. And trading as a limited company when you're insolvent simply means, and you're aware of this now, that you are no longer protected against insolvency, that you are liable for all your liabilities. You personally, by carrying on trading when insolvent. Let's go back now down to equity. My net assets, my assets less my liabilities, are 47000 I have a director's loan account in there where the director has lent $1,000. He's probably not going to want that repaid immediately. A word of caution, do not borrow money from your company as a director. If you're thinking of doing so, ask your financial advisor the tax implications of borrowing money as a director from a company. There are certain times when money borrowed by you may well be treated as a dividend, an unfrank dividend paid to you. If you don't know what that means, please talk to your financial advisor. Just don't do it. <laughs> my equity shows my current year earnings. I'm losing $2,700. And I've got a historical balancing figure in there. In other words, at the beginning of the year, there was some money in there which I haven't yet allocated. We'll talk about allocating the historical balancing figure in an advanced course. If I go to the bottom of the screen, I can print, I can send it to who I like, I can save it, or I can simply close it.